What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to walk you through doing a fresh install of Windows 10 on your laptop or desktop PC. Now this can be a new build or an old laptop, it really doesn't matter. Recently I picked up this laptop on Craigslist for a good deal and I needed to do a fresh install of Windows, so I figured I'd make a tutorial while I'm at it. There are a couple things that we're going to need to get this installed. So first up, I recommend using a USB drive. You can use a DVD, but this tutorial is focused on a USB drive. It can be USB 2.0 or 3.0. It just has to be 8 gigabytes or larger. I'm using a SanDisk 32 gigabyte USB drive here. I'll leave links to Amazon if you don't already have one. And the second thing we're going to need is another Windows computer. Now it can be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. So you're going to have to borrow your friends, use your grandmas. I'm not sure if the library will allow you to do this, but we will need another Windows machine to flash the USB drive with the new install of Windows 10. Now let's say the PC you want to do a fresh install of Windows 10 is still running, but it's a bit slow. You can still use that computer. But if it's totally dead, there's nothing we can do but get another system to install Windows 10 to the USB drive. I'm going to be using another Windows 10 machine to get this all up and running. All we're going to do is download a tool from Microsoft to install it to the USB drive. Then we'll install Windows 10 on our PC. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you need to do is plug your USB drive into the PC we're going to be installing Windows from. Like I said, I'm using a 32 gigabyte SanDisk USB 2.0 drive. I do have it formatted FAT32 and you definitely want them formatted FAT32. To do that, you're gonna right click on the drive, go to format, make sure it's set to FAT32. You can name it whatever you want and click start. You don't need a drive this big, but it does need to be eight gigabytes or larger. So now my drive's fully formatted. It's time to download the Windows installation tool. Now this is safe software. It's from Microsoft's website. I will leave a link in the description. From the download page, we just want to click on Download Tool Now. This application is going to allow us to easily create a Windows 10 installation USB drive or DVD. I'm just going to take the downloaded application, place it on my desktop for easy access, just so I know exactly where it is. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and start it up by double clicking. We will have to agree to the license terms, so you can go ahead and read through this if you'd like. I'm just going to click accept. From here, you can either upgrade the PC you're on right now, but I'm going to be focusing on creating an installation media from a USB drive or a DVD, so we're going to click the second option. From here, we can change the language, edition, or architecture. I'm going to go with English. We only have Windows 10 as an option, and for architecture, I'm going to choose 64-bit. 99% of the time you're going to be going with 64-bit, but if you're installing this on an older system, you might want to go with 32, or you have the option of both. Select Next, and now we need to choose which media to use. We have the option of a DVD ISO or a USB flash drive. Like I mentioned in the beginning, we're using a USB flash drive, so we're going to leave this highlighted and click Next. We now need to choose the USB drive to flash to. Make sure you're choosing the correct USB drive. You can also hit refresh at the top here, but I'm using that 32 SanDisk. When I formatted it, I named it so I know that this is the correct drive. When you have the drive selected, click Next, and now the tool's going to finish this up. Depending on your internet connection and the USB drive speed, this can take anywhere from 10 minutes to an hour. I have had this fail on me one time. All I did was reformat the drive, rerun the application, and it installed fine to the USB. So just sit back and relax. Let this finish up. It says right there, you can use your computer while this is working. You'll be prompted when your USB drive is finished. Your USB flash drive is ready. I'm just going to click finish here. Now we're going to take that USB drive out, move over to the PC we want to install Windows 10 on, plug it in, we're going to have to turn the computer on and boot into the boot menu because we want to start from that USB drive so we can do a fresh install of Windows 10. 
Once we have the USB flash, we're going to plug it into our PC. Now all manufacturers are different, but I'm using a Dell here. I'm going to press F12 while the computer's booting. This is going to bring me into the boot menu. From here, I can choose what drive I want to boot from, and I'm going to boot from the UEFI SanDisk USB drive. Yours might be named differently depending on the USB drive you're using. It's now going to boot into the Windows installation drive that we just flashed, and we can get to installing Windows 10. Like I said, all manufacturers are different. This is a Dell, and the F12 key does bring me to the boot menu, but yours might be different, so you will have to Google that. It really depends on the manufacturer. Some use Delete, some use F2, some use F8, some even use F11. So you're going to have to find that out. But on most Dells, should be F12. Alright, so here we are. Let's go ahead and install Windows 10. Really easy to do. First up, we just need to choose our language, time, and keyboard input method. I'm going with English and US. Click Next. We want to install now. It's going to ask you for your Windows 10 product key. If you don't have one, just click I don't have a product key. Now we want to choose which version of Windows we want to install. I'm going to go with Windows 10 Pro. If you're reinstalling on a PC that had Windows 10 Home, make sure you do Windows 10 Home. Next. You can read through the license terms if you want to. I'm just going to click Accept the License Terms. Next. From here, you can upgrade, install Windows, and keep files, settings, and applications. Now what I'm going to do is wipe my whole drive and install fresh Windows 10. I'm not going to have anything left on that drive except for the new installation of Windows. I only have one drive in this PC. It's a 240 gigabyte SSD. You need to make sure you're installing to the correct hard drive or SSD. This has two partitions, but I know that my PC only has one drive and I wanted to delete the whole thing and install Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and select the first one, delete, and I'm going to delete the second one. This is going to merge the two partitions together. So now I only have one drive available. I'm going to click Next. Windows 10 is now going to begin the install to my hard drive. It really depends on how fast the USB drive you're using is, plus the hard drive in your system. So this could take anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes. Just let it finish up. When it's done, it'll automatically reboot into Windows, and then we can set up our fresh install of Windows 10. So we now have Windows 10 installed on our PC, we just need to finish with the setup. So go ahead and choose your region, choose your keyboard layout. You can add another layout if you'd like, I'm going to click skip. It's going to ask you to connect to the internet. Now you can skip this, but I recommend connecting now, that way you can download the drivers we need. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm now connected, I'll click next. From here we can set the computer up for personal use or set up for an organization. I'm just going to go with personal. If you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in now. That way you can download Microsoft apps from the store. I'm going to do offline account. No. I'm just going to put in the name of my PC or the name of the user. Next. Now you're going to type your password in, whatever password you want to use. I'm not going to use one. I never use Cortana, I always decline, so I'm going to leave it at that. And another thing I always do is turn every one of these off. So I have all of them off, you can leave them on if you want, except. It's going to take a little while to get all set up, but we're done installing Windows 10. It's going to boot to the desktop and we can start using our computer. Windows 10 is now installed. Depending on the manufacturer of your computer, you might need some more drivers, so I recommend going to their website, typing in the model of the PC or laptop you're using, and download the correct drivers. On a fresh install, I usually let it sit for about 30 minutes without messing around with it because it's going to do some updates in the background. It can also download the graphics driver for you automatically, so I just let mine sit. But overall, it's really easy to install Windows 10. Really appreciate you guys watching. All links will be in the description. 
If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And like always, thanks for watching.